Hello, my friends, and welcome to another Tuesday of Tutorial. I am Leonardo Perez Nieto, and today we will draw a skull, a crown skull. I want to thank our sponsor, Appeals, and I'm so excited because I just got these removable stickers that I can place on my phone or other things and reuse. I want to show them to you in detail a little bit later. But first, let's draw. I'll start using a mechanical pencil with a 0.5 mm lead to sketch out the skull. We do the upper part, which is of course all rounded, on this side, the top and the other side. It will be in about a three-quarter view. We draw some guidelines so that it looks straight and also a center line for the face. We draw the nasal bone the bone of the nose, the top of the orbital cavities for the eyes, and the upper jaw with some teeth, then the lower jaw, which is called mandible. All right. Actually, the eye sockets should be lower, like so. I'm just going to refine some of the shapes, define them better. And now let's draw a crown the crown of a king with some ornaments. Now with a kneaded eraser, let's lighten up the line so that it doesn't show too much. We get the paper wet and then add diluted ink. This is Indian ink pre-mixed with some water. With the tissue paper, we can keep some of the areas lighter. And once dry, we add a darker version, a less diluted ink, to the edges. Since the ink was still diluted with water, it dried lighter. But now we get the paper wet again and add pure ink, totally black. And we keep that to the sides. Now we will draw the skull with a fountain pen. But before we do that, I just want to show you these beautiful stickers that I got from Appeals, with my art on them. This one is huge and they look as good as the originals. Wow, I love them. These three in particular are made for my phone. Let's try them. The material feels strong, more like a fabric than paper. Okay, let's see. We will stick it over here. Perfect. That was easier than what I thought. And with this high quality clear case that I also got from Appeals, it looks great. And since we can stick it, remove it and reuse it, we can switch it to another one many, many times. It's easy and it doesn't damage the surface at all. If you live in the US, take advantage of the Halloween promotion with the link below. You can order stickers and skins with your own art or with mine or with many other images from their gallery. Soon the service should be available internationally too. Let's stick the next one on a different thing. Like here, awesome. And as I said, we can remove it and reuse it. Excellent! I'm so happy to have in them. Now let's go back to our drawing. Now with the fountain pen, we go over the pencil line we made. The ink that I am using is not water resistant, which is important in this case because we will use water to dissolve it. And we shade with hatching and cross hatching. If you are watching this tutorial in October of 2020, then you are still on time to participate in the Inktober Art Contest held by Appeals. To have the opportunity to win cash in other prizes, join also with the link below. Ok, very good. Now the crown. It will have a cross at the top and then the ornaments. I am sure he was a powerful king. 
Let's do some lines on the background also. And now with a big oriental brush and water, we dilute the ink. First I did the easier part, which was the background, now the crown, and at the end the skull. Very carefully, with a finer brush and with less water. And as I go, I can remove some with the tissue paper to make it lighter. Don't go over everything necessarily, just the parts that you want darker. Don't get with the brush and water onto the lights. Now once it is dry, we can reinforce the lines and the darks. If you made it all the way to this point, I would love to know it. Please in the comments write me the super secret code, the smile of the king. <laughs> Then, with a white pigment pen, we can draw some highlights. And with a white charcoal pencil, we can add softer lights. The list of materials is in the information below the video. We give it the last touches and it's ready. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like, subscribe to Fine Art Tips if you haven't done so already, visit Appeals with the link below, and I will see you with more creations and with big news on Tuesday.